Welcome, G-Man Division 3A2, your weekly recap. I am, as always, going to sign joined by Lazra. Hello. Um, yeah, someone, um, do you see that furry harm left? <laughs> yeah, they're out of here. I, I actually forgot to ask what that was about, but, um, yeah, what is that about? Well, if I remember correctly, they didn't show up to their game against Zombie. Which was week, uh, weeks, what even week was that? Um, Looking back to try and find where the well, that very hard played Toxic Avenger. Yeah. So their records since very hard and they lost 3-0 to Barzerk. And then they lost, they won against Dr. Flu's man. And then bailed out, I guess. You know, well, not bailed. Well, let's be honest. It looks like you know they're winning games, so it might be just a case of real life happening and the coach having to Maybe. depart from the league. But hey, it is what it is. We move on. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll just take a look at the schedule. Uh, two of the games have already been played. Uh, too bad. Yeah. So promises ru Wait, what am I doing? Uh, <laughs> looking at this week's games. Here we go. Uh, Frisgard, 3-0 versus uh, Doctors with Grog. That was a uh, quite a landslide for the Doctors with Grog. I mean, usually you don't see the Dwarf 3-0. Uh, yeah, but then you look and see that every single Norse player, apart from Boomer, the Berserker, and four linemen, were cast. Wow. And the only SPPN was a Boomer MVP. I guess for surviving the massacre. Yeah, Freya's guard got 40 blocks in, zero removals. Yeah. 23 armor breaks stores into six cuts. Jesus. Well, let's be fair, three of the casualties were self-inflicted then for the Norse. Because there were nine casualties and dwarves only caused six of them. There were three expulsions as well. So the Norse could have been out of players by turn seven. Judging from this match report, there were three expulsions yeah. and nine casualties. <laughs> Not that. So yeah, poor Norse. Yep. Getting outbashed. Something fierce. Such as such as life sometimes, I guess. Yeah, you got you got to be prepared for that when you pick up a Norse team. Eventually, you'll find a game like that where everyone leaves the pitch. Tridentum Exacrata versus maybe a season. Tridentum Exacrata taking the win here as well. Yeah, probably with a T1, nice little T1 grind against yeah. the High Elves. Looks like another quite bashy um, game here. With yeah, I've mostly yeah. carried, I think, the, the Mighty Blow Tackle Wolf is doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. Yep. Uh, picking up three casualties and a touchdown for good measure. Spike Magazine. It's a good game for Bastard Tour. So yeah, that's great. Yeah, uh, what are, what in terms of... Seven, seven knockouts sustained by the High Elves. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if you can look at their KO rolls percentage. That might go away to explain it. 55%, um, so uh, in theory it's fine, but... Yeah, it's not awful. Might not be the uh, entire thing. Yeah, well, minus four casualties as well, so that's like... Or five players off the pitch on average. And uh, and one of the casualties was the um the actually five retrieval, so yeah, maybe there just wasn't a good shot on the ball. Dragon mm -hmm. area too good. Yep. Uh Uruk Haiku versus uh Furry Haram was a concede. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, then we have the Supremacist Runners tying the Toxic Avengers. Yep. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously the Supremacist Runners got out bashed, but uh, they just couldn't stop, couldn't be stopped by the Nurgle. Not quite, at least. Yeah, just a, just a drawn out 1 1, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Three pass. Wait, five passes was interesting. 
Ooh, yeah, five fail. pass. Wait, what? Three passes. Just three made and then two failed. Any advice for the budding coach? Oh, right. Yeah. Maybe rerolls, like built-in rerolls? Yeah, probably. Well, the first I've only got a rookie passer, so having to pass against five disturbing presents with only pass and catch. Well, I guess Nazar. I just I can't remember. I don't think Nazar Steel works against Stink, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't. sure. So that's probably where they went wrong. Tried to play a passing game against five disturbing presents. Yep, that'll happen. But they came away with a point and no important casualties, so you know they'll take that. I think. Yeah. I also realized I forgot to mute the game, so um, I guess we'll have that music. Oh, great. Yeah. Same nice. Bit of variety. Yeah. Um, Rebel Ogre loses against Develica's Ass Kickers. It's a two-one there. Yep. Ass Kickers choking up another win. Yep. Quite the. Uh, a very bashy game, very one-sided in terms of the um, the hitting. Yeah, it's a classic ogre problem when they run into a bash team that can work around the five strength, six strength, five armor, nine, mm -hmm. with a combination of strength ups and claw my blow. So it gets really difficult for them there. Yeah, I mean ogres are gonna struggle no matter what, so. Unit two one is pretty well done. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, ogres. Ogres once you get above like thirteen hundred CB, oh, starts turning into a real battle, don't they? Like, though, don't man. Yeah. Couldn't catch me doing that. No. God. No. The Hatricks lose against the Altor for Acrobata. It's the uh, the kids left taking away a win here. Yeah, Coach Cool stepping up and taking a big time win. Got out bashed, but um, they didn't really care. They got it. Uh, they got away from, with it, anyways. Yep, they did well. There's no. I guess it's getting all their tackle is movement four. But I guess you can sort of work around it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They took um Hathark the Unstoppable, who I assume is a. It looks like a star player ball yeah, center it's like with a strength five ball. Yeah, block, break, tackle, juggernaut, sprint, shift, feet, six go. Yeah, so five and three skills. He is good. Uh, good, but clearly not good enough. Right. Well, I... they also have a mono. I forgot about that. Patrick's have rusted a minotaur. They have. Is that new? Oh god, I think that's new. Unless they induced, they might have induced him uh... for that game. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. Know. We'll have to see later. No. No. Yeah, I think it might have been. Yeah, I think it was an induced mino and a thark. So. I guess because they have a guard there, so maybe maybe Barzak was thinking he needed strength up in case he got out bashed by Kislev. Because uh, there was a little bit of guard in the Kislev as well. So, that probably explains that. Mm -hmm. But, Kislev got away with the win. It said there is no yeah. safer place for your money. Um, the and then lastly, with the Serpents of Inuruk losing against the uh, Doctor of Flu's men. Yeah. Relatively in, uh, equal on uh, blocks and removals here. I'm not entirely sure what went wrong. Um, well, there were three self-inflicted casualties for the Serpents of Inuruk. Ah. Now that probably will do it. That's an issue. And and another self-inflicted knockout. So yeah, when when your players are probably sneaking and sneaking important roles into knockouts and casualties, then you sort of just have to throw your hands up and be like, well, I guess my players just didn't want to play Blood Bowl today, so... To be fair, he had a 67% dodge ratio, which is less than ideal. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> that's, not, that's, not, that's more than less than ideal. That is as if his whole team got agi busted. Yes. And then some, because most of them have dodge. Like, this, the team has like 8 dodge. So, that's horrible. I don't want to say dicing to discredit Sparky, but it sounds like Seven Spinner just couldn't get anything done. Mm -hmm. Apart from two passes on the Blitzer with show hands. Yeah, 37% uh, armor isn't going to do uh, favors any uh, either. 
but yeah. Mm. An, un an unfortunate one. That was that in terms of last week's games. Take a look, look if uh, it resulted in club, any development. Um, that's not the right link. Don't this work. is the right link. Only Here we go. We'll start with Freya's guard, who um, well, took a beating. Got nothing. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't uh, say they. I mean, I guess they didn't get anything, but they lost some. Uh, here we go. So their uh, blodge, palm tackle, dauntless berserker got a movement bust. Their um, accurate movement up thrower got a uh, strength bust strength and got bust. sacked. Yeah, I think that might be the signal to um, get rid of what I would call. A bit some bloat, really, because there's no magic fault to pass to pass that T. Yeah. So it's probably a good thing to throw what strength busted. The movement bust. Uh, I mean, jump up's the thing, which makes it not a real problem. I don't think. Really. No, you keep him because that's your only palm. Yeah, your only palm. One of the, one of your three tackle. Uh, yeah. Probably the best. I think Lord of the Mad is probably the best. I want to. I, I want to say the best player on that team. Maybe not. Maybe one of the. Maybe the runner is up there. Not sure. But definitely top two players. It's a shame that. So it's definitely a keep. Yeah. It's just a bit. Bit of a. Bit of a knock. Yeah. And then we have uh, Doctors with Grog. We got some levels. Yeah, got two levels. First, you have um, the Blitzer, Ernst. Mm -hmm. He goes grab. Oh, excuse me. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, it's dwarves, they're boring. It's fine. <laughs> You're allowed to yawn. I mean, this. It's an interesting dwarf team, this one. Uh, it has a lot of skills. Is it? I think it is. I think most of these skills are normals. Look at the runners. That's true. So it's the classic, uh, classic rule of dwarf teams is you only see them at high TV when the runners get stats, otherwise they just reroll. Um, and then ER nurse gets uh, stand from. So um, mm -hmm. pretty standard. I'd sort of. Oh well, good, I'm gonna yawn as well. Set me off. Uh, I almost expect the uh, blitzer to maybe have gone tackle to have some mobile tackle, but I. Guess he has his thrall traders for that. I think you say I think the the runner the wrestle runner will get tackle next level, so that'll be your that'll be your mobile sweeping tackle. Mm -hmm. The looks of things, unless they manage to draw a double or something. I think I'll probably skip a double on that runner and just get that extra tackle. Yeah, probably. Unless it's like an agi up. Imagine that an agi four, movement seven wrestle tackle dwarf player, yeah, with sure hands. Aren't you even playing dwarf? Oh. Right. Gives me Ekrand running there of vibes. Yeah, anyway. it's. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> oh, 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 God. No, Ekrand. Flashbacks. Trident and Iskrata gets a level on one of their better pieces. It's the Agi Up Mighty Blow Wolf. Uh, didn't mm -hmm. roll anything too exciting. He just gets sidestep, which is fair, if not a. You're missing page. something, kind of side. He's a legend. We've got a legend wolf. Oh, he is a legend. What's the legend skill? It is sidestep. Yeah, that's what I nice. said. Sorry, I was, I was late to the party there. So, I mean, Kuzar, you know, trumpet yeah. sound effects, which I probably can't be bothered mm -hmm. to edit in. Something, something. Yeah. Congrats. It's a good piece. Now, uh... Um, and they've cycled the other wolf, if you notice. They have, which is weird, isn't it? Because they already have a Mighty Blow one. Ah, oh, you might as well have a second backup. These are actually four, you know what I mean? You might as well roll for the Mighty Blow piling on. Uh, I still don't think Mighty Blow piling on is something you want on a wolf, but... <laughs> no, but I mean, like, he's already gone, that one's spec since, like, you know, Agi, like, Blood Step, sort of, like, I want to say, like, Carrier. I don't know, like a defensive piece. Um, and then if you get one, just mighty blow with like, focus mighty blow tackle juggernaut or something. 
Yeah. Get a double for Juggernaut and then you have a nice frenzy piece. Is, um... Yeah. Because if you, I think the logic is you've already got the Mighty Blade one, you can now it's get another good strength skill. Like Juggernaut or Guard or something. Yeah. On your other wolf. Probably Juggernaut. Um, so yeah, that... Yeah, I don't hate it, I guess, but... I think that's the first legend I've seen on the day I've, re or I've been guest recapping on. I'm trying to think. Right. It might be. And of course, it's a Mighty well, Blade World, so we congrats. the, um... The one Norse team, the Nordic Nublets. Yeah, but he started, he started, he was a legend in week one, wasn't he? Because that team was an old team, they've been playing for a long time. Right. So, so yeah. yeah, I think he was already a legend, but it's nice to see one come in. Sure. Anyway. Uh, maybe a season. They, they got, got a level? An armor bust on their brand new Blitzer, who gets promptly sacked. And, but uh, their wrestle lineman gets dodge. Right. To uh, have a nice little rudge piece on the side there. That's, uh, Perfect line fodder. Yeah, it's quite alright. Of all the pieces to die, I think yeah, the blister is one of the better ones. Mm. Mm -hmm. I have the cash to get another one though, which is a shame. Not but... quite. But... Okay. Right. Yep. They'll be back. Uh, next, we have the Supremacist Runners. They also took slightly, uh, or some of a beating. Uh, Only they... on champs. Yeah, they uh, got a catcher level. Mm -hmm. Briganian Melano, which hasn't been taken yet. It's a pity. Boo. Then uh, their lineman took uh, an armor bust and a movement bust each. Yeah, from the armor bust, ace and MVP for good measure. Yeah. Probably sacks both Suck. of those. Yeah, I think you do. But how many players do they have around? One, two. They have 13. Oh, you might... Uh, do you keep the movement busted one so you can have a bench of one? He can already afford buying a new lino. Ah, uh, but you can keep that money saved in case one of the important pieces dies. And then when they tip over 150 they can buy the new lino. Uh, I guess. I don't, you definitely sell the armor burst, but you might keep the movement burst as a... Because it doesn't really make him any worse at his job, if his job is to stand on the line and eat a mighty blow tackle hit. Um, I mean, yeah, but then it's not, not 100% he's going to face a bash team, and then if he's up against an agi team, he's significantly worse. Uh, I mean, this is this is an eternal league. It's more. Uh, it's definitely more bash than agi. Sure. I mean, I so, I, I ran with in rebel. I would definitely. I'd definitely keep them even best, at least so I can... I'm in, a, in my, I'm in a spot where I can, like... I've got 12 players and 160k. And then I would... Replace him, but, you know. Yeah. I think a movement, I think a movement best on an elf is kind of fine. If he's a lineman. In rebel, I don't know, his personal opinion, but... Big Jobo Hairyfoot comes back from the dead anyway. to talk about his remarkably yeah, short Yeah, I mean, by the time he's back, he'll have 100k plus winnings. Oh yeah, I forgot about the MNG thing. Well, you might as well, you might as well keep him around and see what your winnings roll is. You might roll a 1. Sure, yeah. Then, uh, the Toxic Avengers, they got a level 2. Mm -hmm. Here they are. On um, their last Nurgle warrior, who finally has block. Oh, perfect! Been very lucky with That's those amazing. MVPs. Yeah, but you know, it's been a, they've been playing. He's playing this team a long time, so it's you'd hate to have to just sit sit and wait more like ages and ages. He's already done that to get them up in the first place. So it's nice that they can come, they can get back to at least block relatively quickly. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. Otherwise, I don't think there's any change here. Not really, uh, no. Rocking a nice two-man bench and a day player. Mm -hmm. About 1860. Yeah, it's, as usual, it's just a nice, well-managed team. Yep, that's good. Rebel Ogre. They got a level 2 on um, their best piece, who's <laughs> level 6. That's a level 6 Ogre. <laughs> uh, hell of a piece right there. 
He got the... Arrow of Haste. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm a fan. The class of the legend, the, the battle for the legend ogre begins. Yeah. Have we ever had a legendary ogre in this? Uh, in Rebel? I doubt it. I doubt it. But Fangraph is paving the way with the, with the block tackle piling on guard break tackle. What do you reckon the legend skill is, assuming it's normal? Wouldn't be surprised if it was Juggernaut. Yeah, I would have been tempted to take Juggernaut over break tackle. But yeah, I think I definitely would be the last skill. Not sure if I take it that far, but. Juggernaut is, is decent too. I, think, I, I guess the tackle means that you want. Uh, it's just a weird one because he's he's blocked tackle, so he's like a, a really good safety. But at the same time, you're going and piling on before, mm. so like it's a tough one. I don't know. Because he's going on the ground. I guess you you have the other the other block piling on one. So yeah, it can work. And just some uh, MNG zones and Nomplars. Nobody really cares about those. And the Falcons no. Askickers got a whole bunch of levels. Yeah, payday for them. Yeah, their uh, their claw mighty blow block warrior against guard finally. Uh, their Hungry. mighty blow beastman gets tackle, so they finally have some tackle up and running. The yeah, guard, some killing tackle. Yeah, their guard beastman gets a uh, block. And cool. then uh, the rookie beastman gets Agi. That's the third Agi hey. up there. Yeah, I know. You can make him a sucker. Even leap. Turn him into a war dancer that's moving six. Yeah. You give him wrestle. Then like strip ball. And then as soon as he rolls doubles, yep. you give him like leap. Then you give him very long legs. I think you probably give him dodge. <laughs> yeah. Leap very. Oh, leap very long legs. I was thinking, or you go dodge two heads, which is probably a bit more orthodox, but. You know, you've already got Orthodox in the rest of your team, you might as well have the Freak. Yeah, no, actually four, Leap, Long Legs, Monster. He's gonna be garbage for like, a long time, but then eventually That's true. Be great. But he can be, he's covered by the actually five sure hands. So if you can get, he already needs, you might as well get the Leap and then you can retrieve on actually five. Yeah. Oh my god. This team is slowly getting ridiculous. It's not there yet, obviously, there's still... The strength five warrior is just a strength five warrior, and the agi five, agi four is just an agi four. But there's just so much TV invested in in. in uh, yeah, if you can just, if they can just keep it, if they can just keep it together for like a dozen more games, or maybe ten more games. Problem is, they're playing really well. They've yeah. got a really good record. They might end up in some sort of playoff match against the Div One Bash team that it's absolutely ruins the playoffs their fun. match. That's really the. Like scary part because they'll be uh, because they're in like three A they'll probably face from like someone from Div Five or something in the uh, oh that's true round of playoffs but it's like they'll end up in like Div Two for sure and that's gonna hurt yeah so the challenge will be maximizing your SPP over the next over the next few because yeah because even if they don't make playoffs they've got such a good record they probably will make Div Two anyway so you're going into Div Two no matter what so. You really want to go into Div 2 with a block strength 5 and uh, wrestle actually 4 or something. That's the thing with so many rerolls, like, it's almost like every season, once you're, even if, like, once once you've got pieces you want to develop or you're out of a race for a playoff or challenges, you're still probably going to at least stay in the same division anyway. So you're already thinking, like, my team, if it's beat up, needs to get back to where it was at the start of this season so I can try and compete again. Or get better for the division of that. So that's the goal. I know, I'm talking so much. I, I'm just sort of very dehydrated and on the verge of falling asleep. So, <laughs> uh, so. Sort of same, actually. I considered getting myself a glass of water before starting this, but then I went, nah. Should have done it. Nah, I'll just power through and get one in the break. Uh, the hat tricks. They didn't get any levels, but they got a niggle on one of their hobo, who got sacked. So I, mean, I guess that's a thing. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Not too much else to say there. The altar of Acrobata had nothing happen to them. Yep. Yeah, no change there. Exactly as they were. Strippers of Inner Rook get a level on their um, Palm Blodge Blitzer. Guessing it's tackle. It is indeed. Nice, that's a solid piece. It is a solid piece. Yeah, 
it's it's uh it's nice. Too bad about the MNG, but it could be worse. It's a really well like for a dark elf team, you know, it's got three stats and three doubles. Two of but no four doubles, sorry. Two of which are on the same player. I'm looking forward to these next few yeah. So it's got nice well. skills. It's the exact opposite of um one of the teams in Div Five where it's like every single player is only level three, but they've all got dodge. Like every single one and most of them have large, whereas this one it's a bit more vertical mm -hmm. in development. So it's interesting to see how the two different styles play. I don't know, would you rather have would you rather play a team an elf team that has like eleven blotch or one where you've got like like five level four or five pieces and the rest are rookies? This. I'd rather have the high level guys. Yeah, me too. Blotch can only get you so far. Exactly. It's more of a like assistant kind of skills. They don't also make... they can just roll sixes. That's one thing I've noticed since I've started getting lots of lodges. People roll sixes a lot. Yeah. And they always throw blocking dice. A lot. You know, like almost one in six times, which honestly shocks me. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, Doctor Fluesman. Also got a bunch of uh, levels. It's Nurgle's day. Uh, I'm yeah. gonna kill here. It's the Pestigore with block. It's block. Yes. It's yeah, good. nice. Well yes. said. Two. <laughs> Thanks. Um, two block, two wrestle. Very nice. Then the wrestle tackle gets mighty blow of all things. Um, yeah. That is kind of weird, isn't it? I don't know. Well, always when you go down the wrestle the wrestle route, it makes mighty blow just that much worse. Yeah. Should be those better skills. There are, but I guess he was worried about having no mobile mighty blow claw, and he just tried to make do. Um, yeah, I guess his other goats are a long way away. I guess that's the thing with I think I, I think having I think on chaos it's fine to do this sort of two and two, but when you've only got like, see, we've only got four Pestigors to work with on Nurgle. And one of them's your ball carrier. And you kind of want to, at least a killer. Fed, preferably a, a killer with a backup. Uh, who's got, like, a utility. So that kind of only leaves you one gore to become a sacker. Yeah. And I think they've uh, Sparky's run into this problem now where I'm going to kill you is still 10 SVP away from being okay as a killer. And, you've, and the problem is he's got a really attractive JJ Cash and it's an Aji, Aji for sure has blodged that you really want to carry on to win games, but you actually have to carry on I'm going to kill you to try and get into my blow. And in the meantime, his wrestlers are getting some optimal skills. So yeah, it's a bit of a predicament. We'll see how they work their way out of it. I think we might see like a... If one of these pesticles gets any sort of niggle, they're going to get instantly sacked and replaced. Yeah. would be my guess. Basically, so they're all there, and then his uh, his block here did level and he get a double, so now he's blocked. So that's nice. Mm. Hmm. So that was that. In terms of development, we can take a look at la uh, next week's game. Oh yeah, did you notice that the um sorry the dots please man they threw four passes in that game. Four passes, huh? Yep, two from JJ Cash and two from Fargles to see the the gates that level. So nice bit of vanity passing there. That is not bad. Love to see it. Yeah. All right. Uh, so first off, we have <coughs> Supremacist Runners versus Trident to make Sicrata. Now the yeah. Supremacist Runners are missing quite a couple of players. They'll probably not have a bench, and uh, no. that's a nice catcher they're they're missing out on. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go with Trident to make Sicrata. Their team is in better shape. I generally think Necro is better than Pro Elves. Um, yeah, in terms of like tier rating. Hmm. Tier rating, league standing. Necro is a bit more developed. They've got that newly minted Legend Wolf. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think Trident of Cross is a sensible pick here. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, then we have the Hat Tricks for maybe a season. Um, mm -hmm. I think maybe a season might actually take this one. Uh, the hat tricks have been 
managing some wins. But, um... Yeah, it's really tight in the challenges places, actually. There's only one point between... No, sorry, they're tied. These guys are both tied up on... Oh, no. I'm reading it completely wrong. Sorry. Yeah, no, Basman's really needs to win here to stay in the hunt for challenges and playoffs. Um, and Barzak needs to win to stay in the back of the hunt for... Like, to get within one point of the bottom of challenges, Carl. So, yeah, both teams really need to win. Yes. Uh, but, yeah, I'll put the high odds because I'm biased. Sorry about that. Also, I don't think Barsuk wants to go to challengers anyways. That's true. Yeah. I mean, didn't go... I mean, he got pretty deep last time, but uh, his team came out for the worse. I don't know. Maybe they like playing as massive underdogs with, like, not many skills. Maybe they, sure maybe they really enjoy that sort of challenge. So maybe they do want to make challenges again. Because imagine the statement: he rolls up into Div Three A with, you know, like six rookie chores and a dream, and he's, you know, he's four points away from challenges against a legend. The team next to him is the Toxic Avengers, who are a 1900 Nogal team, and Trident Exocrata, who have a Legend Wolf and like another 1900 TV team. So, yes. you know. Well, it's just a massacre to get a sick kick out of thrashing developed teams with nothing, apparently. Uh, sure. Still gonna go with uh, <laughs> maybe season though. Yeah. Same. Uh, have we predicted Barzak at all this season? I don't think we have. Maybe like once against the uh, Ogres. I think they ended up losing the end of drawing so, that game actually. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Servants of Inner Oak versus the Furry Harem is probably going to be Servants of Inner Oak because the Furry Harem aren't really around anymore. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm calling it calling it a day. In true Skaven style, running away. Ah uh, yes. Way through. Uh, Dr. Flu's man against the Toxic Avengers. It's um, the Nurgle off everyone has been waiting for. Now, which Nurgle yeah. team's better? Uh, I think in a straight Nurgle fight, it's hard to not pick Zombane. Probably. Looking at the teams. Because... I it's just better in the bash matchup, surely. It's more removal there. Yeah. I mean, Kinda? I mean, they've got the Blodge Warriors, don't they? Um, the other Nogal team. Yeah, the Dr. Fluzman does have two Blodge Warriors. Uh, which is a, a thing, definitely. But they lack any kind of killer Pestigore, basically. Which is probably... Yeah, the lack of a killer Pestigore is going to hurt so much in this game. In the mirror. Yeah. And so that I'm so I'm not even gonna predict a draw, I'm gonna predict Zombane. Even though Nogle versus Nogle would be a strong candidate for a draw. Yeah, if any if any match is gonna be a draw, it's probably one of the ones. Hmm. Then lastly we have Altor of Acrobata versus the um Valakas Ass Kickers. Now, uh, I, I mean, I'm gonna go with the Valakas ass kickers. They are in the lead. Um, yep, three points quite clear. Quite comfortably so, even. With a game in hand, because Fresguard have already played, as have Doctors with Grog, so. Yeah, Valakas ass kickers looking like a playoff team here. Yep. And the Gizlev are in ninth, so yeah, I think this is a pretty easy chaos prediction based on, you know, their form. I'd say so. So that was that from us for this week, uh, and we'll see you all next week.